Colin Byer. Uh, this is my buddy Braden Schaefer's uh, 1989 FC RX-7. So this car was my buddy Braden Schaefer's car. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away uh, a year ago while we were on Drift Week 3. The car's been sitting ever since. It's it's been a unit the whole time, but the wiring was all hanging everywhere. The body kit was broken, so it was just sitting in our shop. It looked kind of sad sitting over there, if I'm being honest. So Drift Week 5 was coming up, but Wanted to, wanted to take this kind of in memory of it. We just kind of refreshed it, made it a little bit better, made it, made it operate functionally again, added some interior to it. It's, uh, it's a ripper, made like 380 horsepower. It just, it burns off third gear so easy. <laughs> Car's just been dead reliable. It's been, uh, it's been a riot, man. It's been real fun. It, it's only gonna be a drift car. I, it's still in his mom's name, so we, uh, we're just gonna keep it at our shop for a while, probably drive it around to some of our local events, and maybe cruise around on the street every once in a while, but I'm not gonna daily it or anything. It's not my car, I just happen to bring it here, and now other people can enjoy it. So we came, uh, we came from South Dakota. It was a 24 hour drive. You know, made, made a little trip out of it. Stopped in Indianapolis to uh, see some buddies there and then stopped in Ohio, uh, seen some other buddies there, got an alignment on the car, did some street cruising. It's been, it's been real fun. Drift week's wild. It's all just unorganized chaos, but it's fun. the car didn't start and we have to push it but hey no complaining People love this thing. You can't take it anywhere. We were cruising down the highway from like Newark or something back to English Town, and we were stuck in traffic and just breaking necks all over the place. It was it was a crazy experience. This whole trip's been crazy. I wish I could say this is my idea, but it uh, it was all him. He this is his idea. This is I would like to think this is what he wanted. Maybe not the roof rack. Oh yeah, I gotta show you guys a picture of his Miata. He bought some. He had his Miata back in the day. Yeah, just some janky eBay turbo kit on there. It was wild. I was over at my buddy's shop uh, where he used to store this car at. And I went upstairs and found pretty much everything in there like the door panels the dash was up there it was all cut up everything was ready to go got some carpet for it got that stereo system amazon got the subwoofer in there what else what else do we do tire sprayers. oh yeah got the tire sprayers too try and save some money on tires if possible oh yeah the underglow should we turn that on real quick yeah all right also added these little side lights there just cuz Another Amazon find. 
<laughs> Looks cool cruising down the road. <clears throat> what else do we do? I think that's it. Blinkers, headlights, taillights, running lights. Everything works flawless, man, it's awesome. Friends help me out a lot. Like I said, Justin over here. All the homies back home, my buddy Chris painted it. It, it was all, try to make it a group effort if we could. So I'm glad it works. I'm glad it breaks next like it was, like it was supposed to. That's what it was built to do. And it just so happens to be a ripper too. <laughs> Uh, so the plan, I guess with the car, is just drive it for a few years, maybe, I don't know, and just have it there. At least it, it looks good now, son. It's a good piece. We'll see what happens in the future with it. I don't think anything's going to change on it. I hope we're just uh, keeping the dream alive. I think he'd be proud of it. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>